Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I want to show you something that I've been working with, dealing with forecasted or predicted or target values and comparing um, actual performance to those values. Now I've got right here, this is Wyoming state population by zip code. Here is what was predicted and here is the actual 2010 census population. Now what I want to be able to do is quickly identify those zip codes that had greater than expected population growth or who fell below the prediction. Now I know you can do a formula calculated field and come up with a value and do some color coding, but I want to show you how to do it using trend lines. I really like how that looks. Well, you can come over here to analytics and you can add a trend line, a linear trend line. That's great, but that doesn't quite tell the story that we want. In order to tell the story that we want, we need to come grab the per census prediction. And so you're gonna have a dual, uh, you're gonna have two charts here. And the key is you want to have both the X and Y axis or X and Y scatter plot values on the same rows line. Now you've got a chart down here. We don't want these circles. So what we'll do, there's two ways to do it. You can either come to the size and make it really small. I like to come under color and make the opaque opacity 0%. That gets rid of those lines. Now you come over here, do the dual axis. It looks like you've got a great chart here. It can really tell you some information. Well, you need to make sure you synchronize the axis. And now let's get rid of this trend line. Get rid of the, uh, if the population was the exact same as the prediction, it would be on this line, 40,000, 40,000. So now you can quickly tell which zip codes were below the prediction. 